Welcome back to The Culture of Currency, where today we take a look at our second video in the Silverproof State Quarter series. Episode 1 featured on Michigan, and today we tackle the Magnolia State in Mississippi. When I think of Mississippi, I think of the beautiful bridge crossing the Mississippi River, the rolling hills littered with waxy foliage of the magnolia against a curtain of pine, and some good southern cuisine. But I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below when you think of Mississippi. I picked this 90% silver quarter up from Atmex recently, and if you would like one, Atmex is always a good place to start. Let's dive deep into the state of Mississippi where hopefully we will cover some major events, but also touch a few areas you did not know about. In the deep heart of the American South, where the mighty Mississippi River carves its ancient path, lies a land brimming with stories of grandeur, struggle, and transformation. This is the epic saga of Mississippi, a state where history pulses through the soil and echoes across the river's winding course. Long before European eyes glimpsed its shores, Mississippi was a realm of bustling life and vibrant culture. The Choctaw, Chickasaw, and Natchez people, with their intricate societies and rich traditions, thrived in harmony with the land. Towering mounds built by the Mississippian culture stood as silent sentinels witnessing centuries of lore and legend. But eventually Europeans came to them. In the early 16th century, brought by the clang of iron and the murmur of strange tongues as Hernando de Soto's expedition trudged through the dense forests and sprawling rivers of Mississippi. Yet it was the French, led by the audacious Pierre Le Mont de Beville, who staked the first claim, founding Biloxi in 1699. Their presence set the stage for a land of dreams and ambitions. As the 18th century unfurled, the British flag flew over Mississippi following the Treaty of Paris in 1763. But the British era was short-lived, and in a twist of fate, Spanish rule took hold. The Spanish were soon succeeded by the Americans, and the Mississippi Territory was born in 1798, igniting hopes and dreams of an ever-expanding nation. The dawn of the 19th century brought a cotton boom that would shape Mississippi's destiny. The lush fields of cotton transformed the state into a cornerstone of American agriculture, bolstering the early U.S. economy. Yet this prosperity came at a heavy price, for as we know, it was built upon the backs of enslaved African Americans, whose labor fueled the economic engine of the South. The rumble of cannons shattered the calm in 1861 as Mississippi seceded from the Union, joining the Confederate States. The Civil War unfolded with fierce battles and untold suffering, leaving scars that would linger long after the smoke cleared. The Union's victory led to a period of reconstruction where the struggle for equality began. In the late 19th century and early 20th century, we saw Mississippi veer into the shadow of segregation over disenfranchisement. Jim Crow laws crafted by white Democrats cast long, dark shadows over the states, forcing a brutal system of racial injustice. Yet amidst the turmoil, sparks of resistance and hope flickered, setting the stage for a future battle of civil rights led by Republicans. The 1960s roared with the clamor of change. Mississippi became a battleground for civil rights as courageous souls like Midger Evers and the Freedom Summer Volunteers dared to challenge the status quo. Their bravery was a beacon in the night, guiding the state and nation towards a more just and equitable future. In the decades that followed, Mississippi embarked on a journey of reinvention and renewal. The scars of its past were met with determination to forge a new path. Economic growth, cultural renaissance, and social progress marked the dawn of a new era. Today, Mississippi stands as a testament to resilience, a state where the echoes of its storied past meld with the promises of tomorrow. These statements I have made so far about Mississippi are about where the state has been. Now I want to tell you why you should consider visiting the amazing state of Mississippi. This is a state I am fairly familiar with, having driven through it more times than I can count. It is a place where history and culture converge to offer an unforgettable experience. Imagine walking in the footsteps of legends along the Mississippi River, the lifeblood of this storied state. 
From the vibrant blues of Clarksdale to the rich literary heritage of Oxford, Mississippi, it's a treasure trove for those seeking deep cultural immersions. Explore the serene beauty of the Natchez Trace Parkway or historic route that winds through the scenic landscapes. Delve into the past at a Mississippi Civil Rights Museum in Jackson where powerful exhibits tell the story of a struggle for justice that reshaped the nation. For a taste of southern charm, visit the coastal city of Biloxi or Bay St. Louis where the lively Gulf Coast meets historic architecture and stunning beaches. Enjoy local cuisine from savory catfish to delectable pies which reflect the rich culinary tradition of the South. Mississippi's warm hospitality and diverse attractions make it a compelling destination. Whether you're a history buff, music lover, or nature enthusiast, Mississippi offers a blend of experiences that will leave you with lasting memories and a deep appreciation for its vibrant heritage. Now let's talk about this quarter. The obverse offers a familiar scene with Washington doing Washington things. We want to focus on the mint mark, which is an S, reminding us that, that this is a proof struck at San Francisco and 90% silver. In doing that, we can move to the star of the show, which is the reverse. Here we gaze upon a pair of magnolia flowers. I've got a magnolia tree in my front yard, and I think it's the prettiest evergreen the South offers. The waxy leaves are dark green, which have a rusty underbody. These colors play well together against the pure white flowers that are robust and fragrant. I've seen some magnolia flowers that are even as large as dinner plates. They are a stunning reminder of the beauty of contrast. On the reverse, we also see the state founding date of 1817 and a reminder that this is the magnolia state in a beautiful script font. If you pay close attention to the lower right leaf, we also see a small DW paying homage to the engraver Donna Weaver. What is even better is the mintage on this proof coin is actually quite low for an American quarter, coming in at 892229 As we've discussed, this quarter reminds us of the beautiful Magnolia State, a state full of history, culture, and potential. I hope you're enjoying our state series and hope you will as always remember to stay classy and current with the culture of currency.